Ferguson With big old wheels and a mighty grin We'll always be right there to lend a hand And if you see him passing by the road Tip your hat and say hello To the greatest little tractor in the land Massey Ferguson was heading to the river. He had a mate down there he hadn't seen in ages. Lazy Daisy occasionally spent time in the big shed, but was mostly down on the water. Hi, Daisy. Hey, it's been wet, eh? Hey? Yes, it is. My timbers have started to creak. I don't like it when my timbers creak, Massey. I often means a storm. Oh, I hope you're wrong. What are you going to do? I might go down to the lake for a while, where it's calm. See you. Daisy was right about the weather. The rain got heavier and heavier. Hi, everyone. Is it ever going to stop raining? It's so wet, my bumpers are sagging. Yes, it's wet, all right. I'm a bit worried about the animals if the water gets any higher. Murray's taken Gracie to check the sheep paddock. I hope they're all right. It's a flood! It's a flood! The road to the farm is washed out, and the water in the sheep paddock is getting deeper and deeper! Oh, some of Murray's sheep are trapped! Max, we'll have to rescue them. OK, let's go and look. Something has to be done. Stay here, everyone. I'm going in. Be careful, Max. Oh, it's no good. Too deep even for a tractor. My engine won't go. You'll have to rescue me now. Don't worry, Max. We'll pull you out. Well done, Messy. Thanks. But it'd be a lot quicker if Butte was here to help me. Where is he? I'm afraid Butte's gone back to the shed. He said it was too wet for him out here. Eh? He's a four-wheel drive, not a vacuum cleaner. Oh, that Butte has got a bit selfish lately. We still have to rescue the sheep. They're OK for now, but we'd better keep an eye on them. Butte, the sheep are still trapped. You should have been helping. How? I certainly can't reach those sheep. I don't know what's gotten into you lately. All this going into town has gone to your head. Well, I'm tired. If you'd really needed me, I would have helped. Now, if no one minds, I might have a little afternoon nap. No one can come and help us with the road washed out. If only Lazy Daisy hadn't gone away. We'll have to think of a plan. Massey did think of a plan, and Murray liked it. The first step was taking one of the doors off the big shed. The second step involved Butte. The door makes a good raft. Yes, and Butte's tyres make it float really well. Well done, everyone. This is real teamwork. I'm very proud of all of you. And we couldn't have done it without Butte. That was a nice nap. Nothing else to do on a rainy day. Ah, where are my tyres? We just borrowed them for a while. Hey, What do you mean, borrowed them? You mustn't stress yourself, Butte. You'll be tired. You've been very busy while you've been asleep. Or at least your tyres have. <laughs> That's right. In fact, you've been rushed right off your feet. <laughs> but I'll need my tyres back tomorrow if the road's fixed. Murray and I are off to town. Uh, no. Murray's decided to take Massey and me to town for a change. We all think you need a rest. Poor Butte. But I must say he deserved it, being so lazy. When will he get his tyres back? Just after Max and I get back from town tomorrow. <laughs> 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 